Hatep Shayat Upayat Rapata. May destiny and the roads and paths always be open to the light for you. I'm your host, Tamut Ra. And today we're going to get into the importance of metaphysics and why we have to um, begin to delve into the study, the science of metaphysics in order for us to um, truly come into our totality of self coming to the totality of the existence of the all. The existence of all life. And when you are in the study of metaphysics, what happens is you begin to um, look at life in a whole different manner. And I'm going to get into that so that you can clearly um, identify with the information, the informing of the word that I'm giving to you into your um, informing that word as a as a particle taking those particles in to your body and allowing them to vibrate on your you know um, DNA you know strand that hydrogen connection the hydrogen bond and letting that vibrate there so that you can unequivocally know that this is what you need to continue to expand to stages of the all creative mind And your link to that all creative mind. Our ancestors, the ancient ones, the ancient comedic ancestors, told us that everything in life has a metaphysic purpose. Therefore, when we comprehend metaphysics, it gives us the ability to grasp the one ultimate creative mind, the source of all things. Because we are able now to look at the metaphysic attachment to all things when we are in our creative mind when we are in the mind of the universe, then we are able to identify all the sources of the universe in our existence. So, metaphysics is a systematic study of the beginning which transcends the physical. And when we begin to transcend this physical, then the um, mental agitations and the stress and aggravations and the unnecessary, you know, um, frustrations that 
um, we are taught to endure, practice, and um, carried out every day. That begins to shatter. Because now you are taking a metaphysic approach, a systematic study of the physical and what transcends beyond that physical. So, metaphysics helps one to become skilled in the science and in, and in the laws that govern the physical universe as well as the spiritual laws that govern the relationship with the Creator. And when we are um, metaphysically moving in this way, we can be one. We can be one. See, because for every seen, there is an unseen. And when we are only looking at the seen and unaware of the unseen that is attached to it, because everything has a metaphysical purpose. Everything is composed of um, essential principles. Everything composed of essential principles. So, metaphysics is the only way to become an essential learner in your life. And by essential, what I mean is we must be now concerned with the, um, the essence and the principle rather than with the substance and appearances. And this is why you have to become an essential learner. And by applying metaphysics in your life, you're going to become an essential learner. Being concerned with the essence and the principle rather than the substance and appearance. Learning metaphysics teaches us that, you know, when we uh, uh, attempt, when we make an attempt, it should be done as thoroughly as our nature allows. And to, to discipline yourself for every attempt that you make, to do it as thorough as your nature will allow you to do it. Linking yourself with the omni-universal mind. Linking yourself into the vibration of that mind is going to affirm 